Today, I want to show you how you can completely customize your taskbar in Windows 11. We'll look at some of the basics like how to move all of your app icons over to the left hand side. We'll look at how you could turn on or off some of the default icons. We'll look at how you can move your taskbar to the top of the screen, how you can change the app icon size, and we'll even look at an amazing third-party tool that allows you to set a transparent background on your taskbar. All right, let's check these out. We're going to start with the basics. How do you even place an app on your taskbar? Well, it turns out it's pretty simple. Within Windows, simply click on search and you could type in an app name. Here, for example, I've typed in whiteboard. You can then right click on it and you can select pin to taskbar. You can also open up an application and when it's open, you'll see the icon on your taskbar. You can right click on that icon and then you could select pin to taskbar. So let's say you no longer want an app appearing on your taskbar. Well, you follow the exact same flow. Simply right click on the app icon on your taskbar and then you can select unpin. You might have noticed that the five icons over on the left hand side behave just a little bit differently. The first icon all the way over on the left, this is probably the most recognizable. This is your standard Windows logo icon and left clicking on it launches the start menu. But did you know as a quick aside, if you right click on it, that opens up what some refer to as the secret start menu. When you right click on it, you can quickly get back to settings. You could launch the task manager. You could open up file explorer. You could even shut down and restart your computer. And this always appears on your taskbar. The next four icons are included by default. You have your search icon, you have multiple desktops, you have widgets, and you have the Microsoft Teams icon. But let's say you don't want these appearing on your taskbar. Well, you can very easily get rid of them. Simply right click on your taskbar and select taskbar settings. Within settings, right up at the top, you can toggle on or off whether you want those four icons appearing on your taskbar. While we're in settings, let's move down and look at the taskbar corner settings. You have something called pen, you have a touch keyboard, and you also have a touch pad. Here I'll turn on keyboard and you'll notice in the bottom right hand corner, a new icon appears for keyboard. And when I click on that, that opens up a virtual keyboard on my screen. Next up, there's something called the taskbar corner overflow, or what in the past was referred to as the task tray. Here I currently have OneDrive turned on, and if I look down in the bottom right hand corner, I see a OneDrive icon directly on my taskbar. I could click on that and I could access various OneDrive controls. If instead I toggle that to off, it no longer appears on my taskbar and instead it's now in the overflow category. Here when I click on the overflow icon, here I can now access OneDrive. The last bucket of settings is called taskbar behavior. And the very first one allows you to move all of your taskbar icons over to the left hand side. This way it looks a little bit more like Windows 10 instead of the default centered look that you get with Windows 11. Next, you can also automatically hide your taskbar. This way the taskbar will only appear when you move your mouse to the bottom of the screen. The next one allows you to turn on or off badges on your taskbar. Here when we look at my taskbar on the to do app, I currently have a badge on it. If I turn it off, that badge disappears. If you have multiple monitors, you can decide whether you just want your taskbar to appear on your main monitor, or you could have it show up on all of your monitors. If you decide to have it show up on all of your monitors, you have some additional customization. You could set it so your additional monitors only show the apps that you have open on that particular monitor. The very last option says select the bottom corner to show desktop. If you turn this on and you go to the far right hand bottom corner of your screen on the taskbar, you can click and that'll minimize all apps and you'll see your desktop. If you click on it again, it'll restore all the apps that you previously minimized. Now, as an alternative, you can also press the shortcut key Windows together with D. D is in desktop, and that'll accomplish the same exact thing. 
Although we finished looking at all of the taskbar settings, there are still a few more taskbar settings. Within settings, let's click into personalization, then select colors. Here we can select an accent color and you can show the accent color on the taskbar. Here I'll pick a color and there you see it on my taskbar. Those are all of the settings that you can access directly in the UX or the user experience. But there are still a few more settings that we can modify. If you're willing, we have to go into the registry and we could change a few values to modify the look of the taskbar. If you're brave enough, let's check it out. To get to the Windows Registry Editor, click on your search icon, assuming that you haven't turned it off in a previous step. Within search, type in Registry Editor and then click on the best match. First, I wanna show you how you can resize the icons on your taskbar. Up in the Location Address field, type in the following location. I've included this link in the description, so you could simply copy and paste that in. Once you're in this location, right click on the screen and select New. Then select D Word, and then type in the name Taskbar SI, SI as in size. Here you could enter in one of three values. If you type in a zero, that'll give you the smallest taskbar icons. If you type in a one, that's the default size that you already have. So if you want to restore it back, simply type in one. And if you type in two, this will give you the largest sized icons on your taskbar. Once you make that settings change, we're not quite done yet. We have to restart Windows Explorer. To do that, let's open up the Task Manager. You can press Control Shift and Escape and that'll open up the Task Manager. Within the Task Manager, find the process titled Windows Explorer. Right click on that and then select Restart. As soon as you do that, you'll see the change to your taskbar. You'll have either large icons or small icons. Also within the registry, you can move your taskbar from the bottom of the screen to the top of the screen. Head to the following location. Once again, I've included that in the description down below, so you could simply copy and paste that in. Once you navigate there, click on the file named Settings, and within Settings, highlight this specific cell. Currently, it's set to 03. 03 defines that the taskbar appears at the bottom of the screen we can change that value to 01. Then click on OK, and then we could once again restart Windows Explorer. And when you do that, you'll see that your taskbar is now on the top of the screen. If you wanna move it back to the bottom, you could simply repeat those steps, and instead of entering 01, enter in 03. Those are all of the settings that we can modify directly out of the box. Next, I wanna show you a pretty phenomenal tool that gives you even more control. It's called Taskbar 11, made by Chris Andreessen. To get the Taskbar 11 tool, head to the following GitHub website. Once you land on the page, expand the Assets category and then download the release.zip file. Once you finish downloading the file, extract it and then double click on the configurator.exe file. This will install Taskbar 11 on your computer. Once you finish installing, launch the application and you'll see that you have many additional options. Here, I can set the background to transparent. I could set it to opaque. I could set a gradient background. I could even select and customize the colors that appear on my taskbar. There are lots of different configuration settings. If you decide you no longer want this tool on your computer, make sure to uninstall through the app. Over on the left-hand side, you can click on uninstall and that'll remove the app. All right, well, hopefully by now, the taskbar looks exactly how you want it to look. Unfortunately, you can't customize everything, but this gives you a lot more power over what your taskbar looks like. To watch more videos like this one on Windows 11, check out the playlist right up above. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time.